Just 43% of 18 to 24 year olds voted in the 2010 general election, according to Ipsos Mari, rising slightly to 44% in 2015. But that was BC, before Corbyn. One of the big stories of 2017's general election was the high youth turnout, with 64% of that age group casting their vote, overwhelmingly in favor of Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. The result the 10 constituencies with the highest proportions of 18 to 24 year olds polled increases in the labor vote of over 14 percent. Clearly teen voters have the potential to swing an election, but it's a power that they've never seemed very interested in using. Until now. So what inspired them to get out and vote on this occasion? A commonly cited explanation is labor's staunch campaigning on social media in the build-up to polling day. But could the surge in teenagers' political interest also come from the culture they were consuming, including the books they read? The link between storytelling and politics runs deeper than you might expect. Political socialization is the process through which a person develops political opinions. Sociological theory suggests that we acquire our political and moral perspectives through agents of socialization, which, according to Albert Bandura's social learning theory, can be as intimate as members of the family, or as remote as heroes read about or viewed. 